Hey, hey, everyone. Guess what? I am not at my usual Goodwill this week. I have ventured out just a little, and I am shopping at the Goodwill on Decker Boulevard in Columbia, South Carolina. And by the way, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Pam, and I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel, especially if you love thrifting at Goodwill, because that's what this channel is all about. So please like this video and leave me a comment. But if you are ready, let's go ahead, get thrifting, grab your coffee, grab Grab your tea and let's go. I almost bought this cat figurine, but its back leg and tail had been repaired. Then I noticed the cutest little home co bear. Look how sweet that thing is. Is this an incense or some type of potpourri burner that? blowfish I thought it was really cute and these mirrors were they were fun to find but they were really cheap the plastic part would move so I knew they could easily break I fell in love with this picture I thought it was so cute it was made by Teleflora and this is another vase slash planter, I guess, but you know, it was kind of plain. And this was a fun cookie jar, Christmas themed. And I will say there is still a lot of Christmas items out. Now, typically my Goodwills here keep their Christmas items out all year long, but it has been an abundance of Christmas since of course Christmas has passed. I love that kitty cat teapot, but it was missing its lid. And here is a porcelain shoe. It's not the usual fancy looking shoes. And this was a great looking candlestick, but it had been repaired. So I decided to leave this one behind. Here's another little planter, just plain, and a nice little tin bucket. Nothing too special going on here. You have to do that. You have to go through all the things that are not so great to find the really cool items. Here's another cute little teapot. And of course, some Christmas bells left over. I didn't get a better shot of these, but those are marble and wood coasters. And I did find this. It was so lovely, a glass carrot. Now I want you to know, I'm not a fan of carrots. The only time I like to eat a carrot is when it's smothered in roast beef gravy. Check out this beautiful piece. I believe this was crystal. It was super heavy and I like the shape. I like the look of it. There's not a lot on the shelves here at Decker. If you compare to what the shelves in the Camden Goodwill look like, they're all piled high. This one, you can actually see the shelves. It was neat and fun to shop at. We had these pretty glass dishes. They would be great with some Christmas hors d'oeuvres. And I found these cobalt blue bowls. These might be anchor hocking. I don't think they're Pyrex. And we had some with lids. And then we had this casserole dish. And later on, I did see someone in the store and she had all of these items in her cart.
this was a pretty piece. It was nice and clear, but if you notice the water at the top was a little low and that indicates to me that there's a tiny leak somewhere inside. So I left this piece behind. Check this out. I love the marble base and this elephant had such a pretty color and of course its trunk is up for good luck. This was a nice vase as well. It was in really good condition. I like those pieces put together, that mosaic effect. This looks like one of those wicker fans or rattan fans that you would see on the wall. It did have some rough spots on it. So I don't have a lot of wall space in either of my booths. So I decided to leave that one behind. And this lantern was really cute, but it was missing a piece of glass on one side. And I always love looking at the shell items. This one is a little jewelry box, or you can use it as a trinket box. I thought it was fun. And again, you can see how the shelves are neat and a little bit more organized than some of the places that I've been to in the past. Now, this was a fun elephant. I wasn't sure exactly what it was when I pulled it down. I realized it was part of some type of table. Maybe a glass top should have been on there. Of course it didn't have it. So it really wasn't useful for me and I did leave it behind although I really wanted to keep it. Check out the cutest little fat cat you'll ever see. He's got a cute little bird. And these were two cute little pieces here. That's perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. And y'all check this out. It was so adorable. It's one of those little plastic items that you hang on the wall, the little piece of decor. But I love how it's a little boy and he's got a little frog in his hand ready to put that frog in the bathtub with him. I did spot this piece. I thought she was so lovely, this Buddha. It was made out of resin. And these glass vases or jars caught my attention, but they were from Home Goods. Uh, they were quite contemporary. But next to it, was a more vintage piece, this orange juice holder or pitcher. It even had the lid with it. Usually you don't find them with the lids. Now I had to show you a little Christmas. This is Charlie Brown and it did not play very well. It would light up a little bit these pieces needed batteries. They were a little bit dirty, but what a fun find. Now, do you have these in your home, these dried flowers? I think they're really, really neat. And this was a great, great find. These are the brass angel candle holders. There were actually two in the box, a large one, and a small one. I wasn't able to pull them out of the box for you, but they were really nice. And there was also a box behind that one that I pulled down. Do you have your Tupperware from the 1970s or 80s? I bet some of you do. Tupperware is so durable. And I often see it at yard sales, not so much in Goodwill, but it is hard to resell. This is a great looking platter. It looks like it was someone's wall decor, 
perfect for Halloween or if you're just an owl lover or collector. Oh, I was tricked with these two. I thought maybe this was made by Jimco, but they're from Ikea. Of course, that extra hand there is my husband's hand, not a random stranger. He was out shopping with me on this evening. Have you ever been to Bubba Gump? It's a fun restaurant. We go to the one down in Charleston, South Carolina. And it looks like someone has donated their Hard Rock Cafe glass collection. Y'all, they've been everywhere. Myrtle Beach, Salt Lake City, Cancun. There was one from Washington, D.C. It's sad that they had to donate their collection, but maybe they're into downsizing. On the end here, I see some clear glass pumpkin containers. And check this out. This is a wooden remote control holder, of course, it could hold letters or your mail, but my mind went straight to the remote control because, you know, they're always lost in the couch cushions. I wish I had found two of these. I love this pineapple sconce. This wooden plate would be perfect for a charcuterie board. Am I right? And look at this clock. I love the shape, an old airplane, such a fun little clock. The first thing I'd like to share with you is this Buyer's Choice Caroler. I was so excited to find it. It was only $1.95. And I will definitely have this in my booth at Christmas time. Next, I picked up both boxes of these brass angel candle holders. There was a large one and a small one in each box. And I'm pretty excited about these. They always sell very well. And I'm definitely going to have this out at Christmas time as well. Then I purchased this Buddha figure. It is made out of resin, but it really is such a sweet looking piece. I had to have it for my booth. And fun fact, it's already sold. Couldn't leave without the fat cat. Yep, I bought it and I've put it in my booth and it has already sold as well. Although I haven't cleaned it yet, I wanted to show you the remote control caddy. Again, this could be for remotes or you could use it on a desk for mail, whatever. It's a great little piece and I plan on selling this one in my booth. And that's going to do it for us today, everyone. Thank you for shopping along with me. I really enjoyed it and I hope you come back next week. If you love this type of content, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment down below. Until next week, everyone. Bye-bye.